A demonstration of the momentum of a 185-pound body moving at a speed of 150 miles per hour has, was made using a parachute dummy named Oscar Eightball. For this test, the metal windshield was replaced by one built of one-inch pine boards. Plunging through the wooden windshield, he flew through the air more than 720 feet at a speed exceeding 100 miles per hour. This would have been very funny, except that it could be used. Here we have one of the earliest tests in which the sled carried a human passenger. The man sits backward on the sled. It was propelled by three rockets, each having 1,000 pounds thrust. The speed attained was a mere 180 miles per hour. the two-minute warning to all personnel. I'm told the sleds used in these experiments were originally designed by Northrop Aircraft. Now a last-minute check of the sliding shackles that keep the sled from flying off the steel tracks. It's powerful enough to really take off if it weren't tied down. <laughs> Colonel staff is completely instrumented. The photographic timing cameras record exact velocities at every point. There's a tenseness in the atmosphere here. These men work quietly and efficiently. Now just think, Colonel Staff will come from over 600 miles per hour to a stop in less than one and a half seconds. X minus 15 seconds, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one. 